we still got a few talkers outside. Don't mention any names or anything. Good to see everyone here today. Beautiful debate to be at the State Fair of West Virginia. You know, it, uh, I've already had the chance to be down here a couple days this week, but uh, you know, I used to spend a lot of time here, as I've told you all before. I used to spend you know, a whole week or more at the fair every year. I just like coming down the road this morning. You know how things changed a little bit when I was coming down to get ready to go to the fair. When I was just a little kid, you know, you're always trying to raise extra cash to bring to the state fair with you. And you know, it, didn't, it didn't cost very much to come to the state fair then, though, either. But I remember it used to be for a week or two before the state fair every year, you gathered up Coke bottles and everything else, took them down to the AMP store, got the two cents deposit back on them, put it all together, and you know, it was enough money to kind of get around the fair with, a little bit of extra money. It's just kind of funny how things stick in your mind, you know, whenever you're dealing with you know, something that's important to the state fair is, you know, over the years, you know, I've had the chance to, you know, when I was a kid to show things here, my kids did. I'm kind of in between right now because, well, my grandkids are going to be old enough to bring stuff down here in just a year or two and start the cycle all over again. And, you know, I look forward to that as well. So, uh, but to start out our, our event here today, I would like to call you, it's my distinct pleasure to have with us here today the governor of West Virginia to make some comments and uh, to bring us greetings and, and just to enlighten us a little bit. So, Governor Justice, if I could call on you to, to speak to us here for a little bit. Very good. Thank you. something really special here today and I'm going to mispronounce I, maybe the family's name but is it Grantham's is that correct Grantham, yeah. Grantham. okay well I, I can't believe I got that right <laughs> but a million congratulations this is a tremendous award and extremely prestigious and the work they do is I'm sure unbelievable but now just think about this. The first thing I saw is I saw that they, they do beef cattle, hay, vegetables, and some grain. Now, I've got to tell you a little story real quick, and I won't bore you to death with this. But a long, long, long time ago, we started into the farming business in 1977. And truly, believe it or not, I'm a farmer, and we have farmed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of acres. And we've had cattle, and we've had some hogs, and we've had some vegetables, and we've done a lot of stuff, and we've done a lot of stuff wrong. And I've probably screwed up about everything you can screw up, to tell you the truth. But along the way, you learn, and you get better at it. Now, I've got to tell you this story, and then I want to comment on the fair. But long, long ago, I came up with the brilliant idea that we were going to raise watermelons. Now, when I saw vegetables, I said, I've got to tell you this story. So I ordered plants because I, I didn't want to plant from seed because I thought the plants will give us a head start and the watermelons will be able to make. And I didn't want to put down any in herbicide at all. And so we planted them right outside of Eagle Rock, Virginia. 7,000 plants. Believe it or not, I probably planted half of the plants crawling around on my hands and knees. Now, that at one time I was skinny. That's probably just as much hard to believe as this. But all of a sudden, the watermelons started to run like crazy, and they were blooming, and we had... Then somebody says, you've got to have bees. you got to have bees there to pollinate the watermelons. So we got a guy to bring in, and he put them on, con you know, uh, cinder blocks about this high. He put about 10 beehives all around it was, it was honestly just under six acres of land, okay, that we put them on. Well, all of a sudden, the watermelons were growing great, and then the weeds started to grow. And I said, that's okay, because they'll shade the watermelons just a little bit. And the weeds kept growing and growing and growing. And truly, if I die, I'm telling you the gospel fact on everything here. 
the weeds got ten foot high. And the watermelons, we couldn't find them. And they were everywhere. And I mean, there was thousands of them. And they were beautiful watermelons. So then, I came up with the ingenious idea. I said, I, we got to kill the weeds. The watermelons are dead. The vines are still there. I know we're going to run over some watermelons, but we've got to spray something and kill the weeds where we can find the watermelons. And so I called Greenbar Valley and Clarence Toothman, who worked at Greenbar Valley, a big handlebar mustache, came down there and sprayed the chemical that was okay and safe to do on the watermelons. Well, I was at the scale house at the grain bin, and then Clarence came back in. Now, I think Clarence was epileptic, and so when he came back in, Clarence's window was down, and he was going <clears throat> like this, and I was thinking, gosh, he's having a seizure and everything. I was running out of the, the scale house and everything, and when I ran out of the scale house, I noticed the bumper on his vehicle was like this, and he was saying, Bees! <laughs> and I had forgotten to tell him about the bees, and he was booking it across the, the field, and wham, ran right into the bees with no air conditioning, and it <laughs> stung him everywhere. So I hope to goodness that you guys are doing better with the vegetables than I did at the time. But, uh, now, if I could switch channels real quick and just say this, the state fair is unbelievable. What these great people are doing, what this beautiful lady's doing right here is just off the chart. I mean, everybody ought to be at the State Fair. You know, I've been at the State Fair forevermore. I, you know, I can remember walking around here as a kid with my grandparents, and they would come and they would stay, you know, because they couldn't get a room hardly anywhere. They'd either stay in the Fort Savannah Inn or at, at something Pines down at uh, Covington, and, and we'd come, and Kathy was... Believe it or not, crowned the 1976 Quarter Horse Queen here. You know, and Kathy was in 4-H and everything under the sun. She got, you know, after Kathy and I were married, you know, in, I guess, 1980. Yeah, 1980. She was pregnant as she could be, like Kelly, with our first son, Jay. And so she decided she had to do something in the fair. She couldn't ride. And, but she entered her cornbread, and, and of all things, you know, cornbread is a pretty big deal to especially a lot of elderly ladies that have done it all their life, and they're into it. They're really into it. And here this 25-year-old, 26-year-old little girl wins, and she wins best of show, and they put her recipe in the book, and then every time she comes here, these old women chase her around with sticks and everything. <laughs> The fair to think that 38,000 plus people were here on Saturday. All the good stuff that's going on in West Virginia has got to be reflective of what's happening here. I mean, there's no way in the world that if we weren't doing things in West Virginia on the good side, we wouldn't have 38,000 people here. There's no way in the world if Kelly and these great people and everything weren't doing great things on the good side, we wouldn't have 38,000 people here. This is an incredible feat. Our Commissioner of Agriculture is right here. He's doing great work. There's so many. I'm not going to go through and name everybody, but, uh, you know, we are graced with, the, you know, our great Congressman Evan Jenkins and our great Treasurer John Perdue, but I, I, I don't know, and Mac Warner. Mac Warner, Secretary of State, here. So, so nevertheless, I can't, I can't wait. Maybe the greatest of all. President Gordon Gee is here. So y'all cheer for him. He's got, a, he's got a bow tie on it with little teeny pigs on the bow tie. I mean, you think about that. Now, it takes, I don't know what that takes. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, you know, for the Clay Marshes and everybody's here. Thank y'all for all you do. You know, it, uh, it's really, really, really meaningful to me that you're here and you're supportive of these kids and you're supportive of this great event. I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't congratulate you more. I love you with all my heart. Thank you.
He just took care of a lot of the introductions I had to make. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Uh, next, I'd like to call our Commissioner of Agriculture.